Of all of Florida's invasive plants and animals, perhaps none have received as much attention as the Burmese python. Since the 1990s, there have been many reports of them in the Everglades of South Florida. This powerful reptile is one of the largest snakes in the world and one of the top predators in both its native and invasive ranges. I'm Donald and this is my assistant, Bear. The story of Burmese pythons in Florida is an unusual one. And in order to understand it, we must first go back to where it began, the snake's native habitat. The Burmese python is native to several countries in Southeast Asia, as you can see by the green areas on this map. They usually grow to about 16 feet, though there have been reports of individuals reaching 23 feet. Females tend to be longer and heavier than males. These snakes are generally found in rainforests, grasslands, and marshes, and they are excellent climbers and swimmers. The pythons are usually solitary, except when mating. A female will lay up to 12 to 36 eggs and will watch the eggs until they hatch, wrapping herself around them to keep them warm. Once they are born, however, the python hatchlings are on their own. These snakes have been very popular as pets and thousands of them have been imported to Florida through the years. However, as the pythons grow larger, they can be difficult to keep, and many python owners have released their pet snakes into the wilds of the Everglades. The very first time one was spotted in the region dates back to 1979. However, another event contributed greatly to their spread throughout South Florida. In 1992, the state was struck by Hurricane Andrew, a Category 5 storm that left much destruction in its wake. An entire facility that was used to breed Burmese pythons was destroyed, and the escaped snakes were able to flourish in the Everglades because of its climate and landscape. Florida's pythons were officially recognized as a breeding population in 2000, and scientists estimate that it numbers at least 1 million. As voracious predators, they pose a threat to many of the native species, especially birds and mammals. Believe it or not, there have even been reports of these snakes preying on alligators. Besides hunting other animals, pythons also have the potential to outcompete native predators for the same food sources. Throughout the years, scientists have researched ways to possibly control the spread of the pythons. One such method involves training dogs to sniff out the presence of these reptiles. Another way is the annual Python Challenge, where people set out to hunt as many of the snakes as they can. However, the thick vegetation of the Everglades makes it hard both to see and smell them. But nature itself could find ways to adapt to the snake's presence. Although pythons have become infamous for preying on alligators, there have also been reports of alligators eating pythons. It all depends on which one is bigger and hungrier. Furthermore, bobcats have been seen eating python eggs. Burmese pythons are a species that do not belong in Florida, but one thing is clear, they are here to stay. Scientists may discover more ways to help limit their spread, but these snakes could become as recognizable among Florida wildlife as any native species. Join us next time on Florida's Invaders to learn all about an amphibian, the Cuban tree frog. Bear and I thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. We'll see you on our next adventure.